Okay, well, here are the three Stooges. The three Vladimir Spigatetis, the white dotted assassin bugs from Africa. <clears throat> I'm going to actually try and feed them with um, medium uh, Mario worms and see if they'll take these. I haven't fed them these before. I'm going to take that as a yes. We'll get some more and feed the other two. Let's see which one. That's one of the bigger ones. Here's. Yeah, we can tongue feed an assassin bug. What do you think? Come on, get it. Before it buries itself, get it. Now you gotta get out of the way. There we go. Look at that. Look at the way they tackle. Or wrestle. <clears throat> There's gotta be one more in this little container. There we go. A smaller one for the little smaller one. We're all having wheel worm all mode here. You have one. That's yours. You didn't eat the last time, did you? That's the skinnier of the two. If if you guys remember from the last video, we'll try and decide on, you know, whether they could be if you could tell the difference between their width. I mean you can really see a difference if you look at it may not show up on camera as well, but when you're live in person, that that one is definitely more streamlined and thinner. Come on, you're on the spotlight now. That one must be Larry. I'm going to unbury that bugger because I don't want it. Not that they, they like the they love the beetles to be honest with you. You can feed them the uh darkling beetles that these things that the worms uh pupate into. Doesn't seem like that one wants to eat. <clears throat> so we're gonna what we'll do is we'll crush the head on that one a little bit and leave it there. And see if it'll actually take it. We'll give it another couple seconds here. That one's really battling that. It's almost like this one looks like it wants to be lazy and steal from the other one. See? Did you see that? See how that, this one here tapped that one with this leg right here. And this one tapped back with the back two legs. It's almost like saying, get off my stuff. Get your own food. No, there's nothing wrong with this. This is yummy. You can have your own, I promise. I don't know if these guys will scavenge. It seems like they're pretty much a movement impulse feeder. Okay, well, four minutes and 40 some seconds of the assassin bugs is probably good enough. Let me get you guys a quick close up of this one. I'll tell you what, if I know Dave Scott has these, and I know that he was recommending them to uh, Trey Beck, 
and <clears throat> um, I offered some babies to, you know, if, if I get these eggs to hatch, to Marilyn more, but she doesn't really, I don't think at this time she wants to get into assassin bugs at all. I'm going to take these out, take a look at them real quick and see what's going on in here. Okay, we really don't see the eggs. But... Used to see them. Oh, they're right there. Yeah, you definitely don't want to take a sting by these guys. And it's pretty painful from what I understand. <clears throat> but there's roughly 20 five to 27 babies or eggs at least so you know I plan on keeping a handful of them I would like to have like about six or seven of them in an enclosure and then the rest will probably go up for sale or trade or something but <clears throat> yeah we'll have to see what happens this may be something that I can do as a uh, some type of giveaway you know do some kind of contest or something we'll see what happens when they uh, when they hatch out and then we'll figure it out from there. When they hatch out, we'll get them in their own separate little containers and raise them one at a time until they get a few molts into them and then we'll put them together. Okay, well, let's move on to the uh, baby teas.